Well, if you've ever been to Ivy Gardens Greenhouse, you know how beautiful their plants are. It's part of the legacy of owners Glenn and Gail Ivy that's known all over West Texas. But back in October, they both passed away after years of health problems. They both got COVID-19. He died on October 5th. She died on October 9th, just four days apart. Kim Max Laura Lawhead shows us the love story behind their marriage that bloomed for 67 years. Here among the poinsettias and the marigolds lies a lifetime of memories. Out of everything that they did in their life, their passion was here. They loved this greenhouse probably more than anything that they had ever done. This was the pride and joy for Glenn and Gail Ivy, who started the Ivy Gardens greenhouse with their son Mark in 1986. A sort of second act for the couple, but their love story spans nearly seven decades. It begins in Plainview in the 50s, and it actually wasn't love at first sight. Glenn was asking her if she wanted his autograph like all the other girls in Plainview because he had just finished with the show and she said she didn't like country music. In 1952, Glenn was sent to fight in Korea, serving on the front lines as an army medic. In his downtime, he sang for the troops. When he came back, he performed as a country western singer, even appearing in a movie. But that didn't impress the former Miss Plainview at first. I think my dad had to chase my mother. children and ten great grandchildren. In life, they promised to follow each other anywhere. And they made good on that promise, even in death. They loved their life together, and I think they were ready to end it together. They both caught COVID the first week of October. Glenn died first, separating the couple for the first time in 67 years. Gail followed just four days later. She always said that she didn't want him um, to outlive her just because she was always kind of his caregiver. I think that was her plan all along. She felt like she could not go until dad did. He was 90, she was 89. It was bittersweet. You don't want either of them to have to um, grieve each other. I believe it was answered prayer personally. I believe God rescued them. They began life together, and now they rest together. But their legacy lives on in their family and in the continuing growth at their greenhouse they loved so much. We look at the beauty of it. We look at the, the life in here, and they will always be in our hearts and our spirit. Laura Lawhead, KMAC News.